ISAC is a software development toolkit which we built here in NVIDIA to build robotics applications. The ISAC SDK consists of three main blocks, the robot engine, ISAC gems, and reference application. So the robot engine allows you to build a robot, like for example, a game engine allows you to build a game. We want to make it really easy for people to get started building their applications, but then also when they further develop it and try to scale it, they can build really high performance application. ISAC gems are these really precious, complicated robotics algorithms. Stereo depth estimation, path planning, obstacle avoidance, and we are planning to do more gems in the future so that the robots can do more and more complicated tasks. The ISAC SDK is optimized for the Jetson platform. So you can develop your robot application on your workstation. And then using the robot engine, it's really easy to deploy your application to your actual robot. The Jetson platform is really great to run a robot application on a mobile platform because it requires only very little power, but it gives you a lot of compute for that. Traditionally, perception is a really hard problem, and there's a lot of algorithms, um, of course, developed around how a robot can perceive the world. And machine learning has opened a completely new avenue of research, everything around deep learning, which provides good solutions, which actually look at the world and learn from data on how to recognize objects and how to avoid objects. Website is our visualization toolkit. It allows you to do variable plots, 2D plots and 3D plots inside a web browser. So for example, you can look at the speed of the robot and what your controller is doing. You can look at the localization algorithms to see exactly where the robot thinks he is inside the map and where he wants to go. Or you can even visualize the robot in 3D. So simulation is a really essential part of developing robot applications. It allows you to test out ideas and test your robot application inside a virtual environment first before actually trying them on the robot. And that can save you a lot of money because you can have only a small fleet of robots and a lot of people can develop in parallel and test out their features in simulation before they actually try them out in reality. After you spend like all of this time and energy building your modular robot application and then you see it working in reality and it's working just smoothly, without any problem, and you're like, this doesn't look hard, right? It's just driving from A to B, so how can this be so complicated? But then you remember all the modules inside, like path planning, perception, everything which is doing, but it all works together like a well-oiled machine. 2019.1 is the first publicly available release of the ISAG SDK. And this is only the beginning for ISAG SDK. We are planning to do releases about every three months and there will be more and more great gems will come. We will add more features to the robotic engines. So stay tuned for more updates around that.